The Voice UK judge, who was extremely close to Caroline Flack, has opened up about the trauma that he still deals with after losing Caroline in February 2020. Speaking to Heart Bingo earlier this month, Ali said that he tries to focus on the positives and good memories that him and Caroline shared. As a result of that, along with the support from his friends and family, he is able to keep up his own positive mental attitude and energy. Speaking about the tragic death of Caroline, Ali shared, with Caroline Flack's passing, it was such a traumatic experience. It was and still is hard to deal with. She was a good friend and she'll be a part of my life forever. But I try not focus on the sadness and just focus on the positives. Rose Ailing Ellis plays along with romance assumption after splitting from boyfriend I believe Caroline is in a better place now. I choose to focus on the memories of our friendship and that I am glad I got to know her. Praised for his energetic presence on stage, screen, and via social media, Ollie went on to say, I do not want to spend too much time focusing on the negatives. I have just lived my life like that since I was a young kid. It is how I have built my career really. I want people to be happy and I want to make them laugh. I'm lucky. I have a good family and support system. A-list friends said take it down, US star says Meghan Markle's overplaying her hand, inside Piers Morgan swipes at Prince Andrew and selfish Brad Harry as he queries funeral choice, latest Williams masterstroke invitation to Harry questioned by loose women's Jane Moore, comment, it is just a part of my personality. I love living a positive life. I simply feel good when I'm being nice to people. I'm just nice and respectful to people. It sounds cliche but it does not cost anything to be nice and polite to people. That is what my parents always taught me, to be respectful to everyone. There have been times in my life which have been difficult. Whenever I'm in a negative situation, I just try and focus on that one positive thing which makes me happy. Some people are not able to do that. Which is fair enough, as I said, I have been lucky in my life. Even the moments in my life, and there have been a few, I focus on the good. Being quite active on social media, with four. 1 million followers on Instagram alone, Ollie went on to explain how he deals with social media criticism and trolling, which played a part in Caroline Flack's tragic death. He said, it is all about looking in the mirror and saying to yourself, I am happy with the person I am. And I know that I am not nasty. I am not horrible to people. I am a good person. I have got good morals. I have got a great family. I am comfortable with my own skin. For anyone who writes negative things about me or anyone on the internet, that is on you, not on me. I know who I am and that not everyone is going to like me. Not everyone is going to love me. Not everyone is going to like my music. I accept that. It is important to realize that it is impossible for everyone to like you. It's part of life. Having first started presenting together on The Extra Factor in 2011, Caroline and Ali had an instant connection, with many fans enjoying their will-they-won't-they they type of relationship. In August 2020, a few months after Caroline took her own life, Ali opened up about his crippling grief on a podcast with reality TV star Vicky Patterson. He said, 
for cause not to be here anymore is hard, it's difficult. It doesn't get easy. I'm just fortunate that I spent so many great memories with her, I've so many amazing times with her that I can look back on, I'm very fortunate that a lot of it was documented. I am still struggling. It hurts every day thinking about what she must have gone through. If you want to talk to someone about your mental health, you can call Samaritans on 116 123 or email joe at samaritans.org.